an excuse. And you guys, this woman has literally set to my face after aggressing me and fighting with me and told me that I have beat her up straight to my face after having beat me up, after having started the fight. No, I take that back. I ain't going to say I got beat up. No, after starting the fight and got fought back. <laughs> Through Amen. the text conversation and read. Lou, this is not helping your case, baby. This is not, girl. Guilty! No. What's, What's up, up y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, we've been waiting on this one, babe. Who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, we're reacting to Jess Lou, period. This video was very long. I had to break it into two. And it makes sense. I'm Me personally, I'm actually glad she didn't just try to get on live and put everything out there. Yeah. Because let's just say, hypothetically speaking, if she is dealing with a narcissist, you don't just get on live and try to wing it when you're trying to, yeah. you know, tell your side or whatever. Yeah, like, you need to come it was, correct. It was because she posted that message, it was so many people tuning in. Yeah. It yeah. Was, yeah, it just would have been too distracted. And not to mention, I didn't even realize, I think Tay went live at the same time as her or something like yes, that. Yes, girl. And I don't know. Like, right before her. I don't yeah. know. But, um, yeah, we're going to get to a public reaction. Do us a favor. Hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. Firstly, I'd like to extend an apology to all of TTG for having to be here in this capacity. To all of TTG for all of the drama. Pardon me. To all of anybody, even if you're not TTG, if you were affected by the situation. It is very unfortunate that I am here like this. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be here like this. However, I'm not gonna drag on because I have a lot to say. I apologize about all of this drama. I am here because I have been, my hand has been forced. I am here to defend myself and to defend myself only. Um, I'm not here to do anything other <clears throat> than defend the narrative that has been put out uh, about me. Um, this is not my style. Um, I would have chosen not to have done this. Um, I was moving on quite lovely. Um, I thought things were good, but I guess that is not the case. And that is fine because now I get an opportunity to tell my truth. Mm -hmm. Here we are. I'm not gonna hold you up because I have a lot to say and I do have receipts. And I think that word is so cool. I'm glad you do, because you need receipts in a situation like this. You need it. Corny. Receipts, I have receipts, I have receipts. And hopefully whatever receipts she present is not only showing Tay looking like the bad person. Because that's kind of like a, something that kind of doesn't look right to me when the receipts that you show is only making, it's only showing when Lou's looking at her worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know, we'll, we'll get into it before we talk. We'll get into it. But that's what y'all want to call it. I have these receipts and I will be putting these in the end of this video. And the reason why I will be putting them at, at the end of this video is because in order for you guys to understand my receipts, or even to understand what you guys saw that was posted of me. You must understand everything from the beginning. And one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna sit here and give you guys detail from detail to detail to detail of my six year relationship with this woman. I think I've given you guys enough of that, very much so. However, I can try to shed some light on the nature of our relationship, on the, on the nature of what it was because it was completely what you guys didn't it was not what you guys thought it was so i'm going to jump right into it i went on a first date with tay the first date was absolutely lovely we both really really liked each other after we separated from the date she called me i called her whoever did what we decided hey we want to see each other again she invited me to come see her again this time it was at her house the first place was at a restaurant 
This time it was at a house, it's this recording, just making sure, perfect. It was at her house. So of course I came, I believe it was the very next day, but it could have been two days later. However, it was either one or two days later. I come to Tay's house, <clears throat> I enter her house. And when I tell you guys, I kid you not, I never left that house again without her. And what I'm saying right now would make sense. Just give me a moment. I moved in on the spot. Um, now, granted, when I came in right then, no, I wasn't coming in to move in. However, what happened was I came in that night. I never left. <clears throat> we pretty much did the grown up for a month straight. For a month straight. We were completely <laughs> obsessed with each other for a month straight. We weren't eating. We weren't doing anything. I've said this before on this on, on the Tay and Lou YouTube channel. You guys know the drill. We were completely entwined with each other for a month straight. Not giving ourselves a chance to see each other or to get to know each other or anything like that. It was completely sexual and infatuation for a month straight. Finally, I look up a month later. I realize, okay, I'm kind of slacking. I may have looked up a little bit earlier than a month, but I realize I'm kind of slacking because you guys, I came to her with a job. I was an atmosphere model. So at that time, so my job was to go to clubs, make the club look fun and my housing was secured. But remind you guys, I started staying with Tay. I never left. I literally never left. I came with the clothes on my back and the gifts that I bared for her, for her household. That's all I came with. So I finally was like, you know what? I need to go to work. I'm going to lose my housing. I know I'm liking you a lot, but I have to go to work. She expressed to me, I don't want you to leave. And I will not lie. I won't sit here and lie. I expressed to her, I don't want to leave. We did not want to separate. So what did I do? I brought her to work with me. Come Damn. on, slugger. Brought her to work with me. Two times. After the second time of her coming to work with me, she expressed to me, Lou, I don't want you working there no more. Um, it's too late. It's a whole bunch of drama. And you're with here, here with me every day anyway. We might as well go get all of your stuff from Harlem and you just bring it in here. You're here every day every anyway. You guys, she didn't have to convince me much. <clears throat> I wanted to be with her. I was blindly trusting her, blindly trusting that she was going to. Can I just interrupt and just say, I do think that what she did in the beginning was very irresponsible. Um, I think she was like, what, 29, 28 years old. We actually just recently watched a prank video that they did where I guess some truth kind of came out where, um, where uh, I guess in the video, Lou admitted that she, I, what is it? Gave she gave her complete control of her life. What am I doing wrong? Do you think I'm a child? That's what's wrong. I don't think you're a child. I just don't think you should. And because I let you have control over aspects of my life that I willingly want you to have control over because that's my decision. But I'm not no child out here. You're not about to tell me I, I'm not going to have no phone. I'll take a picture of my whole. So the prank was, Tay was like, um, you know, accusing her of just being a bit too promiscuous on social media. And it's kind of like, and then what Tay said was, I didn't give you a phone so that you could be on social media like this. I didn't yeah. give you a phone to be doing this shit, yo. Huh? I didn't give you a phone to be doing no shit like this. What do you mean? I'm not letting you use my phone to be doing no shit like this. Do that on your own shit, yo. You gonna be doing stuff like this all the you got the phone, cause that's that. If I don't no, do it. Like, I'm 29 years old. You don't like that, right? I give you all trust, all control over everything that I do my entire life. And when I sit here and I, I first of all, post something that's not you related, that finally something and that's me that it still has something to do with you. At least that's fully what my intentions are and were. You tell me, as a grown as adult, you didn't give me that the phone for that. I'm allowed to take pictures. Take the phone, cause I'm allowed to take pictures. I'll take the phone. Even though that was a prank, it was still kind of like alarming to me. Like I don't give Carla a phone, or she don't give me shit like to have yeah. access to the outside world. So I, I did find that kind of interesting. Um, but okay, let's get back into it. Be a good person. Be a good person. That's what I was blindly trusting, that she can be a damn good person. <sighs> wow, what a shit show. Anyway, blindly trusting that this girl can be a good person. So I agreed to it. That was my fault. 
I should have given myself more respect. I should have gone back to my apartment. Listen, all of this I've gone through already and it really irritates me that I gotta even, anywho, moved in with her. The moment I moved in with her completely, and by this time, all of the sexual activity had slowed down a little bit. It was still going, but it slowed down a little bit. So now we can see each other. This is when I started to see who she really was. So very soon, she started to show her true colors to me. This is when the alienation started. This is when the control started. This is when the, the pettiness started. This is when the temper showed. And this is when the fighting started. Most importantly, this is when the fighting started, you guys. Like I told you, we started fighting, if I didn't say that already, we started fighting within a month of our relationship. Damn. Our first fight <clears throat> honestly set the tone for our relationship. And after that first fight, we were fighting, if not every day, every other day. Hold on. Can we also note that this is also during the time where they both are learning each other's buttons what buttons to push what to trigger you so even if for example if i know what triggers carla and i'm pushing those buttons even though carla should not, it's not right for her to put her hands on me it's still i i played a part in this toss uh, this toxic exchange and that's i think why carla was kind of like they were both fighting and people yeah. was like what the fuck you mean they were both fighting if she's defending herself okay when you say they're both fighting it means that there's more to the picture and let don't just show me when the shit hit the fan and when lou looks like a monster because if it's more to the picture then that's manipulation yeah well it, true and what i was saying is <laughs> They were both fighting based off of the evidence that she was putting out. That's fine. Whatever it may be, stop I have talking no, about my daughter. Whatever stop defense talking I do. about my daughter. Stop talking about my motherfucking daughter. She's I actually want to fucking stop talking about my One daughter. One more time, I have to defend my fucking self. See, me, I am a, very, I'm a visual person, y'all. And um, just some of the words she was using and the videos being edited. The one video where it seemed like somebody was being pinned down. And I'm like, where is the beginning of this fucking video? Because you can't turn the camera on being pinned down. So meaning the beginning was cut out so that we couldn't see it. So show me the beginning of the video. Yeah. Because if it's more, then it's manipulation. And you guys, this apartment, she shared it with two of her exes. I was there with two of her exes. I found this out late. However, we were fighting. These women bear witness to these fights. A lot of people have bear witness to our fights. However, we were living in this house. What? I apologize, you guys. What I want to do is I want to do a straight run through. I want to do a straight run through. However, y'all have to bear with me. I have not gone through these details in a very long time. And I have gotten over this stuff. However, it is very traumatic. However, we were fighting. We were fighting our asses off part of my language within a month with between the fighting between the sexual activity the talks of youtube started honestly i'm going to digress a little bit and i'm so sorry but i want to explain i want to specify the first fight i do so give me a moment the first fight what happened was tay was asleep on her bed and she's going to tell a totally different story but it is what it is at this point, I guess, is who say whatever. She was laying on her bed sleep, and I was laying at the foot of her bed. At this time, I did not have a phone. I was um, using my iPad. You guys, this is very traumatic for me. I have never gotten onto this internet and start crying. I have never gotten onto any of my platforms and just start crying. I'm a reactionary person, and I want y'all to know right now, if y'all ever see some tears from me, just pay them no mind. I was sitting at the edge of that girl bed, and she was asleep. And she was, she was sleep, sleep. I could tell she was in REM. However, I was depressed. I've been depressed a very long time about my, my situation with my daughter. And it is my right not to go down all of that with y'all. However, I was at the edge of her, of her bed and I was on my iPad and I was crying on the phone with my best friend at the time. I lost my best friend because of a situation with Tay. However, the one I'm speaking about. However, and a decision I made as well. But let me not digress. I'm sitting at the edge of that bed on the phone with my best friend at the time, crying to her, telling her how much I miss my daughter and how much I need to do this and how much I need to do that, how much I miss her, I miss her, I miss her. 
and she starts turning and when i say she i mean tay and she's huffing a little bit and puffing mind you she's still relatively new to me so i'm thinking okay she's just tossing and turning she proceeds to get up tosses the cover off of her and storms out the room so i'm like mind you i'm mid cries i'm deep in my cries it was late at night i couldn't sleep i was thinking about my daughter I didn't want to wake her up, so I called my best friend. I went to the edge of the bed and I called my best friend. I wasn't going to leave out the house. Why? Because her ex is down this way. Her, her other ex is down this way. No, I'm going to stay in this room to which I'm allotted, the space to which I'm allotted. So I sat at the edge of the bed. And she got up, tossed the covers off, and stormed out the room. So I saw that. I clearly knew she was bothered by something. But I didn't think that it was going to be that big of a deal. I was thinking, honestly, maybe she, I am so sorry, y'all. I was thinking maybe something else. Maybe the girl had a nightmare. Or maybe she was going to come in there and tell me to lower my voice a little bit. Because you guys, I wasn't, ah, I wasn't, ah, crying or nothing like that. But I was crying. I was making noise and she was asleep. So those are the things that went through my head that could have possibly happened next. That's not what happened next. This Tay proceeds to walk back into her room her room none of this is her room back into the room storms up to me snatches my ipad out of my hand and asks me who am i talking to now you guys <clears throat> a reminder i don't know this girl yet just too well also maybe some new information or maybe a reminder i am not how do I say this without sounding? Listen, everyone's from a different place. Everyone was raised differently. I was raised a certain way. And unfortunately, that was the act of aggression to me. And I, no, not unfortunately. That was an act of aggression to me. This girl comes and rushes up to me, snatches my iPad out my hand before she can act. I wouldn't have mind the who are you talking to question. But where she triggered me, because yet again, that's not the way I was raised. You do not run up on me like that, number one. And then number two, you will not take something that is mine out of my hand in a forceful manner. That's just not what's going to happen. That will always put me on the alert. That will always put me into a, I will, I will go. You should have asked me first. I don't mind answering questions, but what you won't do is aggress me first. Because I will finish it. And that is that. She snatched it from out of my hand and asked me who I was talking to. I hopped up. I began to explain to her because she was new to me. She was new to me. I began to explain to her like, listen, I'm crying about my daughter. Like, I'm, I'm crying about my daughter to my best friend. This girl proceeds to hang up my phone on my best friend, tosses it to the side. I run up on her because I'm trying to stop her from tossing the only dag on the form of communication I have with my child, the only form of communication I have with anything with my friends, my own, my lifeline, she was about to toss it. So I run up on her to get her to not toss my stuff. And the tussle begins. And then the swings begins. And then the fight commences. And it will always happen like that if you ever. And I'm so sorry this is not me trying to be aggressive. Oh, I'm not saying nothing of the sort. All I'm saying to you is that that just doesn't, it's not going to go down like, like that with me. And it never will. Ever. So now imagine, okay, this scenario she just gave us. How Tay came in, she snatched the thing off. Now she gets up, run up on her. Now Tay, they both going back and forth fighting. They hitting it. And now, let's say she gets fights dirty and pick up a crock pot, hit her upside the head or some shit like that. And then Tay pick up the phone and she shows only that part. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. If it, I just want, I like to see, I'm not saying that I'm okay with anything that Lou or Tay did because at the end of the day, I think b both me and my wife feel like this was just a very toxic situation, but I just don't like when people try to really pull that victim card or weaponize being a victim because there are really victims out there, but people who use that and try to manipulate people who are not able to think for themselves. And now you have just a whole bunch of bullshit coming, you know, just happening. Yeah. It, to me, I just feel like it's, of course, really early on in their relationship, um, even for this to be happening in the first month. And I'm just sitting here imagining this whole scenario, right? I can see how if she's on the phone with her friend, it's annoying. You know, if I'm trying to sleep, I don't care if you is new, it's fucking annoying. And I can see her getting up or maybe she could have said, 
hey, you kind of loud or something like that. But that's what happens when you don't know how to communicate. Regardless of you being new to each other, that's what happens when you don't know how to communicate. And then I don't feel like it was right for her to take her iPad at all, period. And, or, and maybe... It blew her first thing of run. Let's say if she ran up on Tay and slapped the shit out of her, that that's not right. But again, at the end of the day, it's just like you got two people who like are toxic. Yeah, and I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just thinking about, just say for instance, everybody don't know how to, um, like deal with heightened situations. It's some people. It's either fight or flight. I know I am like that. Like, I'm the type of person, I'm going to fight your ass. If I feel like you're invading if my you pull, area. But yeah, <laughs> and that's why me and Carla probably are really respectful to each other. Because if you come up and pull my shit out of my hand, I ain't going to lie. And I've been in a lot of domestic violence type yeah. of situation. You know? Yeah. Hopefully, y'all know. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I got a little excited there. And just, just recanting this stuff. It physically has a physical effect on me. It has a mental effect on me and it has mm -hmm. emotional effect on me. And I'm sorry that, once again, I'm sorry that y'all even have to hear all of this. But I needed y'all to understand what the first fight was and how the first fight started. Because I was just about to go on all willy-nilly like, oh, no. And you remember, real quick, I actually said that. Once you open the gate for that fighting to start happening, if y'all don't sit down and be like, what the fuck was that? The gate is open. That's why it's I was, going to continue. That's why it was very important for me and Carla to like already make sure we was on point with that in the beginning. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. I don't need to say all that. No, I do need to say all that. I'm not about to do that. So that's the details of the first fight. So we were talking about pretty much talks of YouTube. It's been us doing nothing but being intertwined with each other literally being intertwined with each other still fighting talks of youtube come the first video is dropped january 2017 16 it's, it's dropped in january do do the research please look it up the entire time you guys we're pumping out this 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 content to y'all mind you still fighting still being mentally controlled still being mentally abused still fighting on top of that still trying to also live in these conditions and also i didn't get there yet i guess that's the next part still doing youtube mind you we're making money off of youtube at this point and mind you in my head this is a wee thing we're making money off of youtube you guys behind the scenes i am not being paid i can't do anything by myself i am completely I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Can I also point this out too? This is another kind of like red flag with Tay. So notice how she says she couldn't do anything without Tay. She couldn't go nowhere. But in that same video we watch, Tay made it a point to say, you can't clock me. Tay sorry to me. Tay sorry because you cursed me out. You I'm wonder sorry. why I was late. That's why I was late. That's why you were late. Yeah. So I text her, y'all, and I was like, where are you? And whenever I ask her where she is, Tay's daddy, so she don't really answer. She just, like, soon come or because something. Because my dad taught me nobody should be clocking you. Why but me. clocking me? But me. <laughs> Lou was like, I, I want to know where you at sometimes. And Tay said, no, my dad taught me don't ever let a person be able to clock you. Why? Who would need to be like that? What type <laughs> of person would need to be like that? That's what I'm saying, like... I need for people to kind of really pay attention to everything. Not just what somebody tell you. Even with her. Like, we're, I'm, we're listening, but we're not just going to run with what she tell us either. Yeah. Now, granted, whenever she would eat, she would get me food, yes. Whenever she would do this, she would do this with me. You guys, however, it must be a lot of children who think that that would suffice a grown person. I need my own money, especially if I'm working for it. You guys, while we were pumping out those YouTube videos to you, we lived in five different places. All the while, we're moving around to these five different places. These places weren't just places, you guys. The first three places that we moved into, they were her exes. Um, the first place that we spent the first beginning time of, of our relationship, I moved in with her ex and another ex, pretty much two of her exes. Well, one of them, she just had whatever you want to call them, <coughs> two ladies that she dealt with. 
did not know that initially, but once I found out, obviously I was in the fray and I was rolling with the punches with her. Second place, lived with her for real, for real ex. You guys have heard her talk about this young lady before. This was um, over a decade ex. Um, and once again, this ex didn't know who I was. Um, she was um, lied to about who I was and pretty much Tay had us living in this ex's mother's apartment without her knowing who I was. We did eventually meet. We had to, there was no more, there was no more, there was no hiding us. We were living in her mother's apartment and Tay was trying to hide that for a while. And all the while, like I already told y'all, I was on my P's and Q's every day. I knew I was in a place that someone knew I wasn't, they didn't know who I was. So I was ready every day to, for anything to pop off. You guys, I'm in the middle of Brooklyn while all of this is going on. No. So with that being said, um, me and the ex, we finally met. And guys, you know what? All of these exes, I don't know what they have to say to me today. Um, I honestly, with everything going on at this point, anything related to her, I really don't care. However, I formed really close friendships with all of her exes. I formed very close friendships with everyone in her family. I cannot say the same for her and for my friends or any of my family. But anyway, three places, first three places, two people she dealt with, an ex and a person she dealt with. Second person, her for real, for real ex. Third place. We just lived with her mother and her ex. So this was all the exes. You guys, I have no issue with any of this. I absolutely adored these women. These were really wonderful, beautiful women. I adored them all and they all helped me in ways through dealing with Tay. And I this is crazy. I just, I would have not been able to do that. You know, like uproot what I'm used to having my own space and then having to live with other people. I even, um, I've shared before that it was somebody who was trying to date me. And they was living with their ex. And they were sharing a car. And I was like, but see, I, I, I can't date you. That's why. And so she went to one of my best friends and she was like, what's up? Why Carla won't date me? She was like, she not going to date you because you're not stable enough for her. And I was just like, like, you can't have all of this shit going on. But that's when you have already gotten to the point of, I can't be dealing with bullshit. But yeah, but I was going to say, that's why I like say a person like you wouldn't date a person like Tay, a person like a Tay, because when, or a person like, I, I only want to say like a Tay, because I don't know her yet. But what I'm saying is when you're dealing with someone, let's say manipulative, they will test you in the beginning to see what they can get away with, what you will allow them to do. And she mark, probably marked off a few ticks on the box. And it's like, okay, shit, I, this I can, the one. right. I can get you to live in places with my exes and do and this and be a mama. secret and all that. She for the shit. So I'm on, I'm on run circles around her ass. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna put any of that out there. However, all of them helped me and thank you so much to all of y'all and I wish I would have taken in more information. <laughs> However, you guys, all of this time we are working. These last two places that we lived together, it was just me and Tay. Seeing as though it was just me and Tay, I would expect that, you know, our relationship would have gotten a little bit better or a little bit anything. No, the relationship didn't change. Our fighting didn't change. Nothing changed. If anything, it got worse. You guys, I never had a key to any residence that I resided in with her. And by the time we lived at these last two residences, we were making a lot of money from Tan Lu. I completely understand not having a key to these three because let's be honest, in this house, we weren't making much Tan Lu money. In this house, we weren't making much Tan Lu money. I was not a woman expecting her to give me all her money because Tay didn't quit her job off the break. She was supporting us. She was um, buying, the only thing I needed was food because you guys, I'm not a complicated woman. So she was going to work and she was feeding me every day and she housed me. However, that's what everything was set up to do. My apologies, you guys. I meant set up to be. That was the way it was set up to be. Um, she had me quit my job. She would not want me to get a job. She wanted me to stay in the house to cook, to clean. Um, according to her, I didn't do that too well. However, yeah, that's what I meant. That's the way it was set up to be. 
in the beginning. I would never expect anyone to just give me all their money. No, I'm meaning give me my money once we started making the Tay and Lou money, not when she was working her job. So with that being said, I thought things were going to change. I thought our relationship was going to get better. I thought the fighting was going to stop. I thought her temper was going to subside. I thought the controlling behavior was going to change. I thought all of that was going to change, but none of it changed. And you guys, the entire time, I never had a key to any of these residences. Now, obviously, I did not expect a key to these first three. No. And let's also be transparent. Um, these first one, we weren't really making Tan Lu money just yet. The second one, we weren't really making Tan Lu money just yet. We were starting to make Tan Lu money when we lived in the last house with her ex and her ex's mother. However, I didn't need a key to that stuff. I know my place. I know how to play my role. I would not open my mouth and say, oh, I need a key here too. No, I went to that room and that room was my spot. That's what I, what I did, okay? But those last two places, I just knew I'd had a key. What happened? Hey. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's happening. This is her video, though. Let's well, share your thoughts while I find out. <laughs> well, I, it's like I agree with what she's saying. It's like, but and to make myself clear. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, mom. She probably knew it edited them or something, maybe. maybe she. Yeah. And to make myself clear, when I say I was paying rent, I mean that I've been working on this Tan Lu channel with Tay. I have no other form of employment that wasn't allowed in the beginning. None of that was allowed. I've only been working for her. I see no none of this money. So if I'm working, is my, is my part not paid? I accepted not seeing money because I trusted her. All I needed was her. However... When I say I paid rent, no, you guys, I want to make it clear. I did not give her physical rent money. However, I worked and I never saw any of the money. So if she's saying I had bills that I was racking up, food bills or any type of other bill, then I would assume the money that we were making together, it would have been handled. I don't know. I was just thinking, I was like, she probably didn't get to see exactly how much money that uh, Tay and Lou channel was brought in. Because I was thinking when we had like only 15,000 subscribers, that little coin was kind of cute. So I can only imagine having hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I can barely, the numbers is just hitting me. She must ain't even get to get a glimpse of how much money they was bringing she in. She was living how people used to live back in the day when they just trusted the husband to take care of stuff. That's, ugh. Here, what was that? Was that re a receipt? What was that? Come on now, Lou. She trying to figure it she out. She trying to figure out the long ass video. That's why it took the video so long, because she was probably trying to figure out editing this stuff. Get her thoughts together. But am I the only one? I had absolutely nothing, you guys. Look at the videos. Look at how she just kept glowing and glowing and glowing and glowing and leveling up. And honestly, I was stagnant. Look at my hair. You guys, I could only afford synthetic hair because I was not getting any money. Um, she would not give me my own money to take personal care of my my upkeep. Um, she made sure to keep keep up with hers. And here's the thing. She would buy me things, you guys. But guess what? We'd argue and she'd take all of it back. She's bought me plenty, but she's taken every scrap back. The moment she gives it to me, not even if it's an hour later, if we get into a tiff, she'll take it back. Look at the videos. We can't the proof see is in the shit, pudding. Lou. Honey. It's black on my phone, too, so it's something going on with her shit. Ain't that something? Man. I wonder if she's going to have to re-upload it. But what I was going to say is, like, am I the only one that's not surprised? That wasn't, like, when I saw the video that Tay dropped of them fighting or her being all drunk and shit, am I the only one that wasn't surprised? I think maybe, because I feel like when they did that couch um, video where they both sat down and when they said, oh, when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, we, we're, like, we treat each other like strangers on the street. We're, like, bloods and crips. You really could tell if two people are loving with how they treat each other when they're angry with one another. We and that's, not. huh? I said we did not. Yeah, when we were angry with one another, we might as well have been strangers on the street. Strain worse than strangers. Yeah. So. Literally, blood and crips. Okay, Seriously. Period. Like, Seriously. Why are you on my set? <laughs> right. Mm. It was bad. When I heard that, 
All I could think of was two bitches banging in the house. Yeah, but <clears throat> they actually mentioned before in another video that we reacted to, they was like, when it's good, it's good. They was like, but y'all, when it's bad, they was like, it's bad. So when they kept saying that, I'm like, what the fuck was y'all thinking in y'all head was happening? So it's almost <laughs> like when she showed the video of kind of what it looked like, which I've seen it before, because again, I'm, I'm familiar with what domestic violence look like. I was like, oh, okay, that's what I thought it would look like. Yeah. Um, but it's almost like it sent people into a shock or something. Like, oh, she was being abused. But I'm like, what about the full picture? Like, cause like yeah. what what all happened? And then also I was like, okay, well, what if like how Tay said, um, she was doing the gambling. In my head, it was almost as if, what if Lou had a video and we just she showed Tay draining all the money with gambling, and then she decided to upload that. What would people be like? Oh, the she, bills she, 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 she guilty. She's look at all that money she's gambling. She they told us that she was gambling. Yeah, that's why I say I listen to what people say. And I, you read in between the lines. It's almost like everybody wasn't doing it or something. They were just thinking like surface level. Yeah, and I guess another warning for me, a red flag was in the beginning, I think it had been three years when we did that reaction. And um, it was something that they had talked about in that video. Um, oh, they were saying, we're going to either get married or we're going to break up. If y'all banging like this, why y'all even talking about getting married? Then they was talking about having kids and everything. And you could see that Lou was not happy in that video. Yep. So It's because she, like she said, she lost herself. She lost herself from the fucking beginning. Yeah. When she gave up everything and just moved in with this stranger. You don't know what she, I don't care how cute she is. You don't know what she on. A yeah. lot of manipulative people tend to I be really like cute. I would like to say that the stress of our relationship probably was um, an agitation to her gambling um, addiction. However, it was not her coming home to me every day, me giving her hell, and then forcing her to go gamble. No, that was not the case. She made gambling a part of her life. She would be gone from day to night. One time I literally walked all the way to the nearest corner store so I can find a phone because you guys at this time we were arguing. I didn't have a phone because she had not come home all night and I thought the girl was not on the planet anymore. But I knew she was at that casino and I went to go check the casino and she was there. As she said, you don't clock me. I need to know where your ass at, but you don't clock me. My daddy said it. My and, dad oh, said. Oh, and that's another thing. We don't know, like, what her dad, like, her dad's behaviors. When she says she learned certain things from her dad. Yeah. Just because we learn things, you know, from other adults don't mean it's And I'm going to tell you, it's like, this is really, like, it gets really sticky. I always say this, whenever you do have someone... Um, again, this is not to take away from what Tay has experienced because even manipulative people, they experience fucked up shit too. It's just when you have people like that, that want to use it as a, or weaponize it or use it to try to hurt somebody or something. When it's like both parties played a part in the situation, it's a thin line between someone like that and a real victim who's really been through some shit. And because the line is so thin, when you have people try to call that shit out because they can see the obvious manipulation, then it, it can backfire on them if they don't call it out the right way. That's why I also said I was glad that Lou didn't just hop on live and try to share her story because you need to be able to have your and shit And because together. she gambled away all of Tay and Lou money, she is now currently in debt over $100,000 in taxes she has not paid our taxes she was not paying me so every time there's a merch plug plug that we did is because we was not making rent because tay was gambling the money even though we were making money she was gambling it away wait a minute she said she went gambling to be your money away i never gambled none of lose money away ever ever lou and i said it even in the video lou was never affected by my gambling nobody was affected by my gambling but me because I never gambled to the point of not being able to maintain the household. I would gamble to the point of just being able to maintain the household. 
So what I was experiencing was a lack of growth in that moment. But I wasn't like on the streets itching. And now she currently owes over $100,000 in taxes. And... Uh, Girl, I wish we could see some of these receipts because Girl, it's giving black. This black screen, it's like I appreciate the dialogue that we can have, mm -hmm. but baby, this is a waste of time and space. He is, honey. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, and I also told Carla, I was like, I don't know nobody in a right mind who can build a channel, a build uh, empire with somebody. And then when it don't work out, it's like they didn't even, they said to themselves, they didn't even cheat on each other. But then when it don't work out, y'all go separate ways and the person just take the channel, the money, all that. I, I just don't understand that. Yeah, I don't agree Like, with I that. wouldn't be able to sleep at night to, if I did that to you. Yeah. I. It's like, <clears throat> even though she says she going to change it to TTG, I still don't feel like that's right. But I think in her head... She already went giving her access to shit anyway, so she probably. But like, you see how she tried to present it. It's it's just it's it's just a slick little thing that she kind of did where she was just like, "This is at this point, this y'all channel." The journey of this channel is not done. I'm going to have to change the name of the channel simply because that's just inappropriate. But it's going to be changed to something, some form of thing, thing gang, some form of TTG because now this is your guys' channel and it'll be centered around food. And you guys, maybe meeting you guys, maybe blessing somebody. That's my goal. I, I, it's like, I look at shit like that. It's like Carla, she the type, she going to be a straight shooter. She going to shoot that shit out. Everybody's not going to be able to handle it. And especially, I don't care. Especially if Carla just shoot the shit out and she don't kind of give maybe all the explanation of why she's shooting it out. Because there's certain things you see because you're so analytical. I tell you all the time. Carla is freakishly observant. Like she, she'll catch shit on your body, on your face. You, you wouldn't even know she caught it, and she'll catch it. Yeah. And so she's able to put things together in her head, understand shit. So a lot of times, and she's Sagittarius. So a lot of y'all know about the Sagittarius. It's like a, a lot of times she puts shit together in her head, and she already know what the fuck going on, and she just shoots shit out. You catch it, you catch it. If you don't. Like you said, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care because it's like I am not here to make anybody comfortable. I am not here to care about what the fuck nobody think about me. At the end of the day, this is our reaction channel, and I'm going to react to what I see. Yeah, I like it. And then me, you know, I try to have a little balance, you know, to soften the blow. But I always notice any time we have moments where we both just, like, ragging on a person, oh, God, the, the comment section be, like, trash. But if we can, if I try to have a little balance, be like, well, you know, you know. In my head, I'm like, mm, I don't know, this shit don't look right. Yeah, but you know, sometimes I don't go all the way in. You don't. Because even in that, um, even in that last video where it came to, um, when we was doing the reaction, well, not the reaction, but we was giving our dialogue on it. And I was just like, you know something, like, at the end of the day, I was like, I don't even want to say my thoughts. Remember I said that? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't even know. Actually, it was a reaction. I was like, I don't even know if I want to say my thoughts. But then I still tried to tailor it a certain way. And, and that's something you had to learn over the years. You yeah. know, growing. Because back in the day, I just would have said it. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little Tink Tink, man. She trying to figure this shit out. Let me go on and run through it. See if I can figure out if she pick up some more. This, I wonder if she even watched it or what happened. Because I know I'd be bummed out. I hope out. she wasn't talking all this time. No. Nope. Dang, I just knew we was going to see some receipts. Girl! Build me up Comfortable to let, for me to let me down. Hold up. And see the date. Uh, uh, build me up to let me let down. Me down. Yeah, you gotta Girl, yeah, this, this video, video should have been is on very point. long for no reason. To start this <laughs> off, I'm supplying you, supplying you guys with the timestamp of this video. As you can see, the date. Um, Look, she thought she was doing it too. 
And she was like, I got the receipts. I got the time stamps. Gary Wilson shit with a black screen. And let's try it again. Running this back. This video, I'm going to let you guys watch it all the way through and then we will discuss it. But just to let you know, it's pretty much her being upset with me that I will not remain in the house that she made toxic because she got into a relationship relationships with her moderators and she made it very uncomfortable for me to remain in the house she's yelling at me and screaming at me to stay and to work there and I'm telling her no I'm not comfortable I'm not living there I'm still willing, willing to help you however I'm not comfortable staying there she physically tries to stop me from getting into the back seat you guys remind you I am her abuser why would you stop your abuser from getting into the back seat, you guys? I know her. I know what's going to happen if I don't get into that back seat. She's going to physically aggress me, try to take my phone. So I got into the back seat. Um, here we are. Yeah, we all see shit. And look, they in the comment section. Is it just me or is the screen black? So they they come they they're complaining about the same thing. But um, mm, mm, mm. let me go ahead and keep filtering through it. Damn, girl. This, this is ain't rough. good. I hope this ain't triggering her alcohol too, because she do need to get help with that shit though. Yeah, like whatever she. That's something I wish she would do, like a Q and A or something. I, she probably plan on hoping she will, because that's something that I want to know. Do she consider herself an alcoholic? Yeah. Um, I want to know about her daughter, even though she kind of said she don't feel like she needs to share that. But it's, and let's say this too: a lot if of she, people are judging her off of that because and, she paid child support and she don't have her child and it's like you don't know the full story to just run in on her let's say how she attracted someone like tay who was like okay i want could you, i want you to quit your job i want you to move in with me i want you to do this i i want to i don't want you to worry about the money i'm gonna take care of all the money like that type of person we don't know what type of person her her baby daddy is well, what if he was a manipulative person? Well, at least what if she's just one of these little bibbity boppity chicks who just get caught up in these type of people's webs? It's That's like, true. I'm going to say you need more detail before you just be like, you're a horrible person. What type of woman don't have her kids? I've seen different scenarios. Think about old girl. <laughs> we ain't going to say her name, but she lost custody to her kids. She was dealing with a narcissist, a very manipulative type of dude who got his hooks in her into some type of way where he still probably to this day got his damn hooks in her. And do. That's what I'm saying. You don't know what type of person she dealing with. She seemed like she... Mm -mm. I ain't got proper training from some strong black women to be like, look, young lady, you don't need to be giving up all your control. That's how my grandma be. Yeah. My grandma Molly Watt me it's if like, I did some shit like that. I think that. some people, they get caught up in situations and when people threaten them... And the them, blue and tail. Go ahead. When people threaten them, they um they they take the threat serious instead of like me, I'm a test the waters type of bitch. Threaten me if you want to. Baby, I'm finna see if this if this see finna part. Cause we're gonna be hey. <laughs> we finna see. That's why I'm glad me and my wife, we've been through that shit and we're really respectful to each other because I can't do that banging shit. Like, that ain't it. I'm your, house, test it your house be all toe up. It's a certain type of energy you yeah. feel in the house when y'all been fighting and arguing, screaming at the, the top of your lungs. I, it's like, that's why when I saw the video, it just reminded me of what that shit used to be like. It smells a certain way, sounds a certain way, feels a certain way. Like and then you start not even liking the person. I know mm -hmm. me, it's like the person starts to become unattractive to you. Yeah, and you just never know when y'all gonna break out into a fight. Mm-hmm. Hold on, she about to come back in. I had to get a drink for this one. I need Next, like before, I provided a screenshot so you guys can have a timestamp of when this conversation happened. Um, I am the blue and Tay is the black. I want you guys now to go ahead. Now, both of y'all the motherfucking black. <laughs> and fast forward through Amen. the text conversation and read. Lou, this is not helping your case, baby. This is not, girl. Guilty! No. All the people... <laughs> All the people who don't know how to think for themselves, this is giving them more ammo to just go in on your ass. Yes. Put <laughs> it in a hole, in its hole, by yourself. And then I would like for you to rewind it and hear my voiceover explaining certain parts if you need any explanation. 
Girl, After some shy. time of us not contacting each other, she randomly contacted me and told me that she wanted to unalive herself and that she was about to turn in her dog. I got really, really scared. And obviously, because I love her, I stopped everything I needed to do to come and find her. I Ubered to her house. She wasn't there. Um, I looked for her. Then I finally went back to my house and I was still checking on her. Um, as you proceed to read, um, these are tactics she would do throughout our relationship. She would say something extreme just so I can contact her. During this time, I didn't contact her yet. So that's why you see kind of a little bit of niceness in the beginning from me. But after that, you can see her pretty much trying to manipulate me into doing a mukbang. And also you will see in the text thread that you will also see her say, I don't want to do the YouTube video anymore. She's referring to the third video that she asked me to do. Also, the two videos that she asked me to do. And you guys will be seeing this in the Texas. This, I believe, was the... First of all, this is another timestamp. Keeping you guys on the time wave. And all of this is obviously recent of the last couple of months. But this, I believe, is the last time that she reached out to me. Um, as you see, the tone in that message doesn't sound like I abused her. Doesn't sound like she fear me. Doesn't sound like I've done anything bad to her other than not being able to work well with her because she know for a fact she yeah, was not going to be. Yeah, but her booty hole um, pinched in. She's so proud That was her tone. You so angry, your booty hole just pinching, and you just was like, "Fuck!" What when you do that, your booty hole pinching? <laughs> Up until <laughs> that message, at least that's what I remember. That being her last message. I have not heard from this woman. I have not seen this woman. And three months later, she pops out with her YouTube that she just posted the other day. So we'll see where we go from here, y'all. Pause it. Evaluate it. If y'all got questions, let me know. I'm not sure how Girl, I'm going to answer questions yet. Girl, what a screenshot. That's what so, a motherfucking receipt. I don't know. There y'all go. Bitch, because I ain't seen no receipt. She thought she ate. <laughs> Bitch, give me that motherfucking plate. <laughs> She ain't ate shit with them damn mud bugs. <laughs> hey, we about to go ahead, refresh our drinks. We're caught about to refresh her drink, honey. I'm still on mine. And we're going to come back. We're going to add this shit in the same video. All right, so I did look at uh, Lou's <clears throat> uh, uh, Instagram. She said, I'm done editing. This was four hours ago. She said, posting to my YouTube soon. This the quickest edit of my life. Uh, we can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but look, 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 look. Look, girl, Tay, she done did a tic tac with uh, I think this is Lou's baby daddy. No, 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 no. Dancing it out with bro. This person said, Is this Lou baby father? Everybody wants the clout. And uh, and this person said, yep, that's Kenny. Comment below, y'all, this is really, this, this person said, correct me if I'm mistaken, but is this the baby daddy? Girl, she trying two to. Two exes turn. This is what, it ain't, didn't old girl call it trauma bonding or some yes. shit like that? This some toxic That's what I'm saying, y'all. It that, don't look right to me. And the thing is, this is dangerous because when you plan in situations like this, this is how people unalive themselves. It's like, it, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Yeah. Cause we, again, we don't know what type of dude this is. And I don't give a fuck. He could be money hungry or anything. If she be like, look, let me try. She, she trying to see, okay, if, am I still cool with Kenny if that's his name? She got all this money, clout, she cute. She, she pay, when he paying, when she paying the uh, child support or some shit like that. I think she might have. And, of course, if she the only one getting the money, she going to probably be the one paying the Yes, but this still, what I'm saying is her words and her actions are different. Now, she just said in her live that it's a sensitive thing when dealing with somebody's child. If she fucking with him, she's still going to be fucking with the child. And she mentioned that that's not what she wanted to do because Lou was sensitive about her ex still messaging her child. So it's almost like she's trying to keep that door open. Girl, why? Speaking of doors, why he ain't got that door on that damn cabinet back there? Ooh, this is... Girl, they probably knocked that bitch off banging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Shit. All right, part two. Hopefully it go a little better for little Lou. I just knew I had a key. 
you guys i was with her for six years i never had anything not one key and you guys we were making thousands and thousands of dollars together hundreds of thousands she gave me none of it she gave me not one key to not one apartment every time we had a argument you guys i our fight usually result honestly nine times out of ten because she took my phone because she would take my phone. She would say because she paid key. for it, um, she's taking it. Now, you guys, I never understood it. I never understood it. You say you're the head of this household. You say you're daddy, and I need to refer to you as such. However, you don't act like one. You act Ooh. like a child. Every time we get into a regular argument, every time we get into a regular relationship argument, my phone was taken. You guys, everyone was used to not hearing to, from me for months and no she would not take my phone for months but what she would do is she would take my phone and then what will happen is it'll take days and days and days for me to get that phone back and then once i finally get the phone back then i have to work then i'm so emotionally distressed because i haven't spoken to nobody in five days and i have to return all five text messages from all these people who check up on me every day but no my phone has been gone for five days so i have to lie about this and lie about that you guys the thing was the phone she took it every single time. I used to hide it. I used to do everything because as soon as we started arguing, the moment I felt our argument was about to start, you guys, I would start to slowly tuck my phone somewhere. I will hide it in the fridge. I don't hid my phone. Y'all, I've literally hid my phone in kitty litter. I remember it. I hid it in kitty litter because I knew once we get down, she's going to look for my phone. I knew she was going to look in that kitty litter, John. But y'all, she found it. She found it. She literally found it in the kitty litter. Anyway, that's neither here or there. I never had a key anywhere, you guys. I was paying rent. Is something fucking wrong with your video again, Lou? Lou? Lou, Lou? The hell? This is Lou, Lou, Lou. This is trash, Lou. Like, if you trying to grow a channel, you gonna have your shit on Queen. This Girl, ain't it. I really, for you had been on Tic Tac. And maybe you should have went on TikTok. <laughs> went live. That probably would have been better than this shit. <laughs> Damn. This is fucked up for her, man. Shit. Oh. This is so, so bad for her. And the baby dad over here. Two-stepping. With the girl with the money. Honey. He Let her she... tell it. I never paid rent. You guys, my receipts will also show her mentality. <laughs> I'm finna get my child support. support. <laughs> I'm a two-step with your ass. Right. The reality <laughs> of how my position in this well in that relationship in this relationship to YouTube, I was not a partner. I was an employee and an unpaid unpaid one at that. Um, I never had anything. Well, that sound dumb to me. I wish you would. That sound dumb to me. I wish we would. Right. <laughs> During our t entire time of Tay and Lou. Oh, man, Lou. This is rough. I can only do so much talking. I was hoping I could sit back and drink my damn drink. Now, I'm going to be done got too lit and said some shit. I shouldn't stay on here because I'm going to be too damn under the influence. Buttercup. <laughs> damn. We got our merch out. It's kind of conflicting with the green screen. It's complicated. This is right on time. Yeah. I love I love it. Visit our website, www.nickandcarla.com to get your merch, honey. This shit is dead. And it's quite traumatic to sit up here and tell you guys that. But I'm sorry. I don't know if that messed up the video, but I up. was receiving a call. I'm recording this on my phone, you guys. It's very traumatic um, to tell you guys all the ins and outs of everything that I went through in this situation because at the end of the day, I stayed. There was fighting continuously. You guys, I never want y'all to think whenever we had a happy moment, we did not fight. We fought continuously. And when I say fight, I'm not meaning, yeah, 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 yeah. It started always as a yeah, 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 yeah. And then someone would take my phone or someone will put no tay would take my phone or rip off my wig or aggress me in some type of way and i told you guys every time i'm going to show up and very well show out so so that's what i'm saying like <laughs> they had already said bloods and crips so when you think bloods and crips do you think it's just one set fight so look this is my thing answer my question no, it's not just one set fighting, but my question, I mean, my thing is, 
okay, if Tay knows she want to record some shit that's going to happen, why don't she <laughs> record herself like this and be like, I'm going to go and take this bitch wig off her head. Yeah! And then now she come grab the crock pot, hit upside her head. Then we can have a fair judgment of the situation rather than we only seeing the, the crock pot and her getting hit in her head or her saying, she you hit me did, in my head with the crock pot. She probably edited it and took that part. No, she didn't. She didn't do like this. I'm finna... No, she didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't do that. She only showing the crock pot hitting on her head. She ain't even show that, babe. So you, you know what I learned? It is so easy to manipulate people who don't know how to read between lines. So you mean to tell me if I wanted everybody to start fucking with Carla, all I got to do, me and Carla, we've been together nine years. If I know what buttons to push to, to make Carla mad at me. And she know. And I want to, nah, I really know everything because I don't do too but much of Carla. But you know enough. You yeah, know but I'm let's saying. say if I, if I know what tick or whatever will make her tick, you mean to tell me all I got to do is get her riled up and then grab the phone when she looks the baddest, the worst, when she put her hands on me or some shit like that. And I know I done did some demon type shit. All I gotta do is pick up my phone, post it on Instagram, and y'all gonna be like, I'm the villain. Carla's abusing Nick. Yeah, I'll be the villain. Motherfuckers don't know how to think for themselves. It's, it's just- Seem like it's more to it to me. It's just that people think surface level. No, I think you got a mix in the crowd. You got people who do, who think surface level. They don't know how to think for themselves. No, because it was a lot of people. They felt where I was coming from. Oh, you from. got a lot of... Yes. Shout out to our people who've been following us for yes. years. We see y'all. We got a lot of people we know can see through the bullshit. But you also got in the crowd people who don't know how to keep up. You got people who are also manipulators. You also got people who are victims, who have really been through some abusive stuff. So it's hard for them to grasp somebody weaponizing or being manipulative in that type of way. But y'all, it happens. Look up the virtuous victim or people using victimhood as a weapon. Yeah. Like that's some real shit. And then you got the fans. The fans the just people, gonna, yeah. they gonna believe whatever, whoever they're a fan of, they're gonna believe every single word that come out. And I'm mouth. not saying blindedly believe or listen to what Carla and I say, but what I'm saying is if you have a section of people who are like, uh, some don't look right, or they calling it out, at least try to have your mind open enough to where you can kind of understand so you're never caught up under anyone's spell to be manipulated like that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to make something clear also as we move on with this because we still have a lot. You guys have a lot to see. I ain't saying shit. I wanted to just first give you a feel of where I was mentally. Yes, you did. A where I had to be physically crying. in the hellhole that I lived in for six years. You guys didn't live it. And unless you've experienced something similar, me even explaining it to you give, give this no justice, none whatsoever to the levels of control that she exerted over me. You guys can see it in the YouTube videos. It, it, it was worse within my personal life. I asked for everything. I could not. I have not watched the YouTube video that Tay has put out. I have not watched any of her streams that she's done since all of this has transpired. And I have not watched not one Instagram um, story. Now what I have had is my closest people tell me verbatim what was going on. You guys, I don't care to see her face in any capacity. And honestly, mentally, I can't handle it. I can't handle seeing that. Um, even though I stand by those videos and everything she showed y'all, and we will be going over that soon. Um, it's traumatic. It's humiliating. It's horrific. I don't want to see that. So I haven't watched it. But per what I've been told, apparently she is saying that I pushed her to a dark place and that made her gamble. When I met Tay, she was a gambler. She scratched off tickets, every corner store. Whenever we went to go get anything from out the corner store in Brooklyn, she got a ticket. Um, this was a part of her personality when I first met her. We used to go to Vegas for Tay so that she can gamble. Um, Tay is a, is a happy gambler. Um, she's not sad when she's gambling. Um, she is sad when she loses, very sad, very reactive, very, very a lot. And it's scary to be around when she loses. Um, she's always been like that. I have never pushed her to a dark place to go gamble. Um, I feel like y'all both pushed each other. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, if 
when Tay first met Lou, if she was like a, an occasional drinker, but then as the situation got more toxic, then she became more into like an alcoholic or whatever, or she was already an alcoholic, but then it got worse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think they both, again, were toxic for each other. Yeah, and but you know something? You just pointed out something. Um, you just said something that made me want to point something out. Mm -hmm. If Tay felt like Lou had an alcohol problem, y'all, when they did that sit-down video, why did um, Tay she say... She uses that as an... Why did Tay say, y'all, we're going to take a break, we're going to go get a drink, and we're going to come back? And, uh, and here we are in front of you guys right, having so, this conversation. Yeah, this is the first time we're unloading Jesus. it. You, yeah, no, you're, I'm you, cool. I'm okay. We gonna get a little drink and then we gonna come right back. Okay. If you felt like this girl have a problem with alcohol, because if you have a problem with alcohol, the last thing I'm gonna do is offer you a drink. Yeah. Excuse me, you guys. This woman has literally sat to my face after aggressing me and fighting with me and told me that I have beat her up straight to my face. After having beat me up, after having started the fight, no, I'll take that back. I ain't gonna say I got beat up, no. After starting the fight and got fought <laughs> back, and then look me in my face and tell me I beat her up. She will look me in my face, you guys. She's not just looking at y'all and telling y'all that. This is the extent of this, this girl's mental. She will look me in my face then and tell me I just beat her. And you guys, when you're being told something over and over and over again, y'all, you start to believe it. And I never, I never thought I would be a woman like that, but you start to believe it. I used to be on the phone with my best friend and, and my mom and my sister like, am I beating her ass? A am, I, am, am I the problem? And you guys, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to take that title as an abuser. I will take the title as a fighter. I will take the, the, the as a reactor. I will take all of that. However, no, no, this woman has been a gambler before I met her. She came to me with these gambling habits. While we were together, she gambled away all of our Tay and Lou money. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I, I feel like they both was in there banging. Mm -mm. And I don't feel like it was no, oh, she was only, only time Tay fought was to defend herself. Nah, I think it was yeah, more to it, man. That was something else, like, that people were saying in the comments. They was like, well, I feel like she was defending herself. And I'm just trying to explain, y'all, like, at the end of the day, it's still not right. I and I would care. say our, because we... I don't care who started the fight, who finished the motherfucking fight. It's like it was wrong. And I on think both I saw some ends. Com I don't care if you defended yourself or nothing. Like, and people are like, well, what was she supposed to do? Fucking leave, y'all. And I'm just saying this because I've been in the situations before. Yeah, and, we and I've had to leave. Yeah, yeah, I've had to leave when I was in those situations. When I was like, you know something, this is getting worse and worse and worse. Somebody gonna fucking die. And that's probably why Lou left. Mm -hmm. We made that money. We made that money. But let her tell it. I made none of that money with her. And you guys will see in that receipt that she, I made none of that money with her. I never saw any of it. So she had all control of it. Her being in these holes and these holes is because she was gambling away the money. And she's been doing it for years and I've had no control over it. Um, I was too afraid to step up to her and say, don't, don't, don't. And when I would, it will turn into a fight. It will turn into a fight. I cannot tell that woman nothing. That woman is not afraid of me in any way, and my receipts also will show that. I loved her. I loved her. Hey. But I should have loved her enough to leave her when I saw that we weren't going to mix well. Because apparently she wanted someone to just sit down and be quiet and let them do anything. So now what I'm going to do is say it is receipt time. Girl, I am please. going to now be addressing the current videos, even though I've already told y'all, first of all, I, I need to make this very clear. The drinking. I oh. drink. I enjoy drinking. I drink. Are you However, an alcoholic? Everything she's shown y'all on those videos, those are partial truths. Completely partial truths. Manipulated, but partial. Because I tell you guys right now, every bottle that was in that house she bought, I had no money for bottles. I had no funds. 
So whatever bottle she brought in that house, she would regulate my drinking, even though I would look at it as cute in the beginning. Towards the end, it was freaking mind boggling because she can pick and choose whenever she wants to drink, but I can't pick and choose whenever I wanted to drink. And I again, what Carla brought up when they were sitting on that couch, we're going to go get a drink and then we're going to come back. <laughs> I asked her about it. Oh, well, when you do it, we end up fighting. When she do it, we'd end up fighting. We'd end up fighting whether we were drinking or not. However, my levels of drunkness all depended on the big, the bottle to which that was brought in that house by Tay and we drank that together. I was never allowed you guys to go to the liquor store by myself and choose a bottle by myself and bring it back to that house. I was not allowed to. I was not allowed to. She controlled it all. And if you guys look at our TikTok streams in the beginning, you will see she will always pull the shots. She will always, she will control it all. And what she would say is, oh, you can't control yourself. You can't do that. You can't do that. And she shows you, got you guys these things and y'all like, oh no, you can't control yourself. Oh no, I can control myself very well. I can control myself very well. I'm actually quite fun at times. However, if you're drinking with me, Tay, and we're both drinking the same amount of liquor because you are giving this to us, you guys, I'm a different stature than this woman. Liquor affects everyone differently. Yeah. So if I'm slurring and she isn't slurring, it does not mean she was not drinking no less or no more. We both drank together as a couple. That's what we did. It was a part of the aesthetic of our relationship. We drank. So her just saying, oh, I was a drink. I sorry. I was a drunk. I was a drunk. I was a drunk. I guess we were drunks because she drank right along with me. And the only time she got upset is when I ever, when, whenever I fight her back. And then all of a sudden, oh, you drink too much. Well, you were drinking with me. If my drinking was such an issue, why would she keep on drinking with me on every stream? If she was so afraid that I would turn into this monster as soon as I started drinking, because that's what she told me, as to why I wasn't allowed to get my own liquor, because she, I wouldn't want nobody pouring every shot for me because I know I won't get crazy as long as you don't pop crazy. No, you can't do that. It was all up to her, you guys. She controlled the um, alcohol. And also, I heard that she said that she would find that I was hiding bottles in places. And she was not lying about that either. Yes, the little bit. Y'all yeah, used to scrape together quarters and stuff like that. Why? Because she would just be walking around the house, enjoying herself, you guys. I was depressed in that room by myself. I wanted to drink. I was fighting every other day. I was miserable. I was missing my daughter. And mind you, even when we came here, the same thing was happening. Same thing was happening. Yes, I was. I would sneak off to the liquor store. I would buy a little nip and I would tuck it away, hoping that she would not find it. The same way I would tuck away my phone, hoping that she would not find it. So yes, she is correct with me hiding it um, because I did not want her to see it and then say, oh, and then we start fighting again. Everything was a fight. So no, I wanted to be able to drink by myself in peace in order to do it. Hold on one second. My daughter's knocking on my door. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what my receipts are going to show you. Um, these receipts can show you something totally different, but I want to tell you what it's going to give and then I will be uploading the receipts. I will be pausing it, like I said, so you guys can screenshot it, read it yourself, and then I will be explaining what it is that you guys saw. The first receipt will show that I was not begging her in any type of way. I did not beg her to do any type of YouTube videos in any manner. I did not beg for her presence, her friendship, or anything. The receipt will definitely be showing you that. And let me add, the reason why this receipt is showing that is because apparently she's saying that I begged her to do these YouTube videos. I, I, I forced her to do the breakup videos. The receipts will be showing that was not the case at all. The receipts will also show that I was not reaching out to her in any type of way, that it was actually the complete opposite. Seeing as though she lost control of me, she started to reach out to me ridiculously. The receipts will show that I never reached out to her in any overt way or any way, really. I didn't do so. The receipts will show it, even though she's saying that's what I've been doing. The receipts will show that she insisted me, her abuser, the person who abuses and beats her up, the person she's afraid of, the receipts will show that she insisted severely that I live with her and that we continue to work continue to work and to do TikToks and, and mukbangs. However, she's, anyway, the receipt is going to show that. And lastly, it's kind of the same thing as the first one. This is pretty much just going to show you guys that she pretty much lied to you all in the YouTube video. And also she twisted the truth 
with the Instagram um, post. Like I said, I stand by those posts. Yes, we were drinking together. However, I just was not off and beating her. We were always fighting and there was always something going on in our house. She was not getting beat. However, I'm sorry, you guys, and not getting beat and such. However, the last receipt is going to show you the temperament um, of what it was given, the truth. I was not reaching out to this woman. I had nothing to do with her. After she made the situation what it was, I made my decision and I left. I did not reach out to her. I did not plan on exposing anything negative about her. I had no idea I would ever be doing anything like this. However, here we are. Please watch these receipts, pause them, read them, and then I will be going over them with you. Here we go. What's happening? It paused again. But this is like the same video that was that she in tried to put in, one. in the yeah. first one. Man, yeah, these little same sex relationships. I mean, all relationships can be rough. Yeah. But I can only really speak on that same sex. They do be rough. Uh, some of them be rough. Clearly. Clearly, this one was. Yeah, it was and very toxic. I've been in situations where knives been pulled out. Carla's been in situations where guns been pulled out. So yeah. it's kind of like it can get really, really bad. That's mm -hmm. why, like this shit, really ain't a surprise. It's just it sucks that it's happening, but it's like that's what I don't like, and that's what we don't like. We don't like manipulators. If it's more to the story, don't just put a little piece out and then try to get everybody. Shit is everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere! I'm the working. kitchen is clean! You're not working! working. Bitch, you're lazy! I'm just working. like me! You're not! You're not working! Get back! That bitch is making this shit! Get back! Go! Look in the mirror! Look in the mirror! Like, like this is so fucking sad! Like, you're really late! I'm on the back! Please get me back now! I'm all the way here! No problem! You're lazy! You're lazy! No, no, you're not going to the back. I do not want to be here. not going to the back. Yeah. No, please. I cannot get over. No, you're not going to Lou, we can't hear you. Can you hear Lou? And no, and I'm focusing on, yes. on the Yes, come on argument. now, Lou. We're going to get her some grace now and give her some time. But damn. Exactly. I cannot handle this. I'm going to handle this. To clean equipment right in the Never. That's the way it was set up to be. In the beginning, I would never expect okay, to do it. You always give me all their money. Give me money. Whatever suits you, so she don't have to do shit. And I just want to say this too, really quick. Okay, and I, we have to do this anytime we watch these type of videos because energy it can it can you know transfer through the screen and shit. After you watch this, if you've made it to this far in the video, after you watch this yelling and all this this toxic type of shit. Please make sure you cleanse yourself. Go out, walk in nature, uh, meditate, whatever the hell you got to do to like get yourself balanced. Because if you don't, what can happen is that shit can transfer to your personal life and your relationship. You can go to work and just cuss somebody out and be like, oh my God, why did I do that? So you got to make sure you release this shit. Yeah. You fucking no, slam doors. Don't do shit whenever it fucking suits you. But you sure the fuck can lay in that fucking bed with no fucking words about rent, no fucking words about nothing, and rely on me the entire fucking time. I am not mad. I never had that about anybody. And I tell you, I feel so fucking hurt by you and the fact that at the end you would do me like that. The fact that you would do me like that. The fuck? I've been taking care of you for five years, my nigga. Five years! It says five years. I guess I did nothing that entire time. She's only been taking care of me and working by herself. Just because we decided to be friends, you want to do me dirty? It's fucked up! The person that you are is fucked up, and I would never forgive you for this shit. Not ever. Never! I've never sacrificed so much for one person just for them to treat me like shit at the end and still try to be patient. No, damn well, I don't have another fucking person that can help me, yo. No, I don't have that. Because trust and believe, if I could, I would let you go. Because nobody wants to have to keep having their fucking pride hurt over and over because they have to rely on somebody or else they're screwed. Yes, I am in a position where when you leave, I will be way worse off. But that's the fucked up thing that I put myself in to be with you. And the fact of the matter is, at the end, you screwed me. You screwed me 
the fuck over and I'm not helping you not one ounce more. Even if it's for a fucking ride back to the house, I'm not. I'm not. Because I'm so sick of being the one screwed over in this situation. My face is fucking chopped. My finances are fucking chopped. Do you know the backstory of what's happening? Because again, this is another video where we're when just coming was, in. She was trying to explain it, yeah. but we can't hear her. I believe if you rewind it and if you focus on what she's saying, because everybody wants the tea. I'm trying to focus on the argument and I'm sure everybody else is too. If you was to rewind it and probably listen to her, she's trying to explain what's happening. But this is the same thing that Tay got going. It's like she posted the the climax or whatever the fuck, but then she put her, she put it in words. She put a description to give a backstory or whatever of what happened. My bills fucking chop! Yeah, both of them toxic, and this is some toxic shit. Yeah, but let me say this. You know, I know Tay is, she's mentioning that she moved to um, Delaware. Delaware, right? And everybody else keeps saying, Tay dropped everything and she moved to Delaware so that she could be, so Lou could be close to her family and close to her daughter. Y'all, when you make a decision, you have to make a decision for yourself. You can't think because I made a decision that you owe me. You're going to have to owe me every time. You're going to have to stand in line every time because I made this sacrifice. So are you making the sacrifice? Are you doing it for, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though you say you're doing it for her, it's like at the end of the day, you had to make the decision to do it. But you can't expect her to fall in line and just walk a straight line all the time because she's an individual. Everybody is here for their own, like, we all got shit that we want. Nobody mm -hmm. wants somebody to control them and tell them what the fucking do. We all are here to do what the fuck we want to do. We're all selfish individuals. So you can't expect just because you do something for somebody to have that much loyalty to you. It don't work like that. My relationship, chop! I have nothing left, so you better be best believe I'm not going out like that. No, I'm tired of being nice. Nice does not work for you. Being patient does not work with you. Nothing works for you. And if it don't work for you, you're not doing it. And that's been my biggest issue with this relationship this entire time. It's beyond you and it's beyond. She said me beating her was her issue that she was in fear. Okay. Beyond me. The fuck? I would never leave nobody like that. No, no, no one. I would never do that to nobody. But the way you are, that's who you are. And you're comfortable with that. That's nothing to do with PayPal. And you know that. You know that. Every single time I try to find my footing, you love to fuck up my mood. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do because you're unhappy. So you can't be around nothing. Nobody trying to do shit for them fucking self. I've been trying to work through your fucking unhappy. Rent. And still trying to find I mean a way in the fucking apartment. I mean that I've been working on this Tamu channel with Tay. Just so that I, have I no can make a way. I have no other form of employment so that, we can have a that wasn't allowed in the beginning. Move, none of you that was allowed. I've only been working for her. All. I see no, none all. of this money. So if I'm working, it's my part. It says, that's a lie. I helped with damn near every TikTok challenge she presented to y'all and more. Not paid. I accepted I not seeing money because I trusted her. Money All I needed was her. However, when I say I paid something. rent, no, you guys, I want to make it clear. Last I month. did not give her physical rent money. However, I worked right now. and I never saw any of the money. So if she's saying I had bills that I was racking up, food bills or any type of other bill, I don't have no money that we were making. Yes, it would be like you're imaginary. I'm supposed to be able to come up with $800 and then you put a bill on me. Put a bill on me because I only been able to pay $300. You guys, look at the video. No look at how she just kept glowing and glowing and glowing and glowing. And glowing. And glowing and and honestly, I was stagnant. Look at my hair. You guys, I could only afford synthetic hair because I was not getting any money. 
um, she would not give me my doing. own money to take personal care of my my upkeep. So um, she made it almost sound like this voiceover is what was in the other video. Girl, mm. she is. I, this editing is just so... Try to keep, keep up with hers. And here's Kaylee. the thing. She would buy me what? things, you guys. Girl, yeah, you pay somebody in Pakistan about $15. They edit this video better than this shit. Maybe I wonder if she on watched Fiverr. it and she saw it wasn't on there and then... Go to Fiverr. 15 bucks, Pakistan. They can't speak English, but they'll get your shit together. But we'd argue Kaylee, that she would take all of that. Like it, she's bought me plenty, but accepted. she's taken every step back. What I need for the moment she gives it to me, I'll be doing this an hour later. Do, it it begins with hey, tip. She'll take it back. Me. Look at the videos. The proof it says she's screaming, help me pay for the bills. Like, what does she want her to go get a job to? Or do she want her to, maybe, did she want her to do a certain video? And maybe Tay wouldn't, I mean, Lou wasn't oh. in the mood to do it or something. It's like, I, I can't, I don't know. Hey, oh my God, Taylor. That's all I want you to do. I'm not asking for love. I'm not asking for affection. I'm not asking for none of that. Oh, yeah. Hold up, hold up. for the bills. So at least I can start at zero too. Because just like you, I am more than a situation. I, I did not work. know when I told you I could still help. Taylor, no one thinks you're about to do fucking YouTube. So I did not think that you were thinking about doing videos of me. Doing you're doing your, your hunger thing today. That has nothing to do with fucking me. Patricia, the plan has always been like I really like yeah, I, this is really making me. And she want Tate, I mean Lou, to do some videos. Yeah, and they ain't getting along. It's, it's crazy because yeah, it's like when you ain't getting along. That's how come Nick told y'all like y'all me and Nick we rarely argue. I'm sorry, babe. But I'm trying to keep everything charged. No, it's cool. But um, the thing is, it's like. If we were not seeing eye to eye, we damn sure ain't getting on camera. For one, my personality, it would not allow it. Because I would probably be just like how Lou was in some of them videos. But when you, let's say if you try to start a channel, like a couple channel or something like that, and y'all start depending on that channel full time, and you start feeling the pressure of not being able to bring or produce that revenue or bring mm -hmm. that revenue in, then that shit can get stressful too. Cause on the back, excuse me, on the back end of YouTube, you see those numbers going up, down, up, down, and everybody not able to handle that shit. You know and what I'm saying? And if you got a gambling problem, yeah. that's even more issue. Yeah, and then Lou, she's frustrated because you taking, she getting, she trusting a gambler to take care of all their finances. She can't even scrounge up a hundred dollars. That That's why it's like, this is that's why I just say it was just a toxic situation for both, and they just needed to get the fuck away from each Honey, other. And it's like the blind leading the motherfucking blind. Honey, because with our shit, both we both got access to the money, both of our names on that shit. The business say Carl and Nick 50 50. It's just like our shit is where it's fair. I wish more people would do that, or at least YouTube would do that shit on the back end. Yeah, See, the, the plan has always been to do. This factory video and I Well you need to give me a schedule Cause what I'm not gonna do Is I can't be in the house But obviously I have to do YouTube Cause you feel like I'm shitting on you I don't want you to feel like that Like I don't I want fucking closure from this shit I want to be done done But I don't want to see you no more So with that being said I cannot live there So if you know you want to do a YouTube It says couldn't live there Because she was basically in a relationship With six other women I had to hear their conversation all day and night So oh is this after they made that sit down video together on the couch? Oh, I don't know. If because she said, you, I don't want to do the video with you or whatever. Cause I made you look like I'm shitting on you or something. Yeah. That's uh, even more proof oh, that her ego did. was hit. She did say, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's again, why Tay did this because she, her ego was hit when they both released that video and people start going in on Tay and yeah. they didn't react the way she wanted them to react. Do video on me, yo, hit me up. I don't know what to do. That's just so you already know none of that. None of that shit doesn't even seem like it could actually be a, a real thing that's happening. But it can't be a real thing, me in your house either. So which one is it? That's again, this is all a person. All because of me. It's all because I can do it, but I'm choosing just to shit on you. But you that's my issue. Personal decision. You can decide to be an adult and actually pay the motherfucking bills and get out of your motherfucking house. How? Family. I'm trying. I am trying to come up with a way to make money. You I am not that's you. Not what I'm asking like, what the you fuck? Is, what that, that does not make any sense. No, you're not listening to me. That's why things don't make any sense. I'm not asking you. 
to make money. I already told you. It says she was literally just asking me to make money, but notice how calm she is now. If, we, if you are unable to make the rent, I don't need no rent from you. All I need for you to do is keep a people mindset with me. But I can't do that. Can I, I can't do that. What did she say? All I need you to do is what? I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. What the do? fuck? What that, that does not make any sense. No, you're not listening to me. That's why things don't make any sense. I'm not asking you to make money. I already told you. If, we, if you are unable to make the rent, I don't need no rent from you. All I need for you to do is keep a people mindset with me. But I can't do that. Can I, I can't do that. Can I, I can't do that. Can I, I cannot do that. Can so I have to leave. So what do you want me to do? Want to get pull magic out of my ass? I am not in a happy space. I do not want to be friends. None of that stuff. And it's okay. So that's for me. You're not letting me talk, please. You're not letting me talk. I've been trying to find... Okay, let's see what this says. It says, yes, I'm home. I doze off, sorry. And then Lou said, good, sleep. Um, hope you woke up today feeling better than the day before. And then Tay said, good morning. Did you know there was a Haitian restaurant in Dover and one in Milford? It's open tomorrow. And then um, Lou said, wow, didn't know. So I, is this after the fight? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's when she said she was trying to be nice at first. This was January 22nd. Okay, so the receipts was in the second video. Okay, what's this, Lou? Lord. Honey. Baby. They was just over each other. Mm -hmm. I've been in a situation like that. You too, huh? Let's see. It says, if you change your mind, just let me know. You're in the house safe, though. Not trying to be in your business. You're not on the road still is what I'm asking. Never mind. I hope you're somewhere else. Oh, okay. This was before that. Okay. All right. So after the wow, I didn't know. Tay said... Hey, do you want um, to do a Haitian mukbang tomorrow? And then she came back and said, or today if you have time. And then she said, you up? I wanted to say, I don't really, this is Tay talking, want to do the other video anymore. Then she said, you good? I hope everything is okay. Hit me when you can. Is this a phone issue again? My texts appear to be going through. I'm so confused, LOL. If you're out, hold up, Nat. Lou, if you're out of town, let me know to uh, let me know so I can switch stuff around. I'm about to go to the Royal Forms. I'm gonna swing by to see if something's wrong with your phone, cause it's unusual not to hear from you this long. I came to Big George House. You ain't here. Can you just let me know if we are still doing this? I really don't know what's going on on your end. I know I've been communicating my depression, but I'm still trying to get the work done to the best of my ability. If you have changed your mind, at least let me know that so I know how you how to move. Uh, we text yesterday and everything seemed fine. So I don't think you don't want to work. I don't know what happened, LOL. Hmm. Uh, it says, um, okay, I guess I'll try. I'll stop trying to reach out still confused, but not everything requires an answer. Wish you the best and I'll continue on with the channel. Peace. Hello. I can't tell if I'm even blocked or something is wrong. What the hell does it make sense? I'm super worried. Cause I know we didn't argue. Please say anything just so I know you're good. This ain't like you. I don't know what to do in this situation. I pray you're safe, but I'm sure somebody would have said something to me if you weren't. At least I hope. Seems like you just stopped talking altogether. And I'm not sure how to read that besides the fact that you changed your mind. I have no clue why or what is going on, but the limbo makes me nervous. If I don't hear from you by the end of the night, I'm going to just guess you cut me off, although I have no clue why. 
I can't keep being randomly ignored without knowing why. And I know we ain't argue this time. You are actually helpful in my time of need. So I don't know where this is coming from. If I don't hear from you tonight, I'm going to cut off contact on my end too, because I can't keep letting this happen. Ain't fair to either of us. Please reach out before the night is up, even to tell me you don't want to work anymore. And then Lou says, hold on, Lou, come on. I'm okay. My apologies for worrying you. Okay. She said, okay, can you call real quick? I'm just confused. Child, <coughs> making sure this is even you. I watched too much forensics. And then she said, girl, are you out of town? Did I have the days wrong? Tell me something. I'm confused. I would like to say that the stress. She said, swear I'm not trying to be in your business, but all of this is so unlike you. I'm trying once more, real talk, then forget it. Even in my dark state, I still continue with you. And this is just weird. I'm asking simple questions and you're not even answering those. I can't work like this. And our relationship is a big part of the reason I'm so damn depressed. Stress of our relationship. Hold on. She said, can't keep putting myself through this. So this is my last call. I'm going to do this by myself. Can't keep putting myself through this stress. I'm also going to end Probably the, was. I'm also going to end, uh, the ability for either one of us to contact the other. Cause this weirdness stresses me out with all the other shit I'm going through. I can't keep thinking we are fine. And then some weird stuff like this happens. You've been so di dismissive without any reason at all. Goodbye, Lou, for good. Did somebody mention that uh, Tay may have abandonment issues or some shit like that? Or did Tay mention it? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Um, agitation to her gambling. Oh, look, because she talking and then showing the text message at the same That's time. That's why I Lord, said. <laughs> this is just wearing me out, boy. She molly whopping me. I, I would like to say that the stress of our relationship probably was um, agitation. And then she said, this is when Lou responded to all those messages. Lou said, Tay, when you disappear, take time for yourself. I never expect a heads up. But when you do, I respect it. I like the same in return. By me telling you I was okay, should have been enough. For example... The other day when expressed the import when I expressed the importance of recording the third video you requested, you disappeared and I waited. That's all out of respect for you and your space. I need that in return. <clears throat> to her gambling. Then Tay responded and said, I have never taken time for myself without keeping you updated on whether I wanted to do a video that day or not. I don't care about your business. All I wanted to know if you were available for a damn video. You telling me you're okay didn't answer the true question at hand. But instead of arguing, I'll just say I'm not interested in this arrangement anymore. Wish you the best, but no thank you. I figured it out. Ooh. Um. She said, I don't even know how these messages came through to my computer because you're blocked. So we can both heal and move on. I truly do wish you the best. But it's time to let our friendship go. It's not Addiction. genuine. Good luck. However, and then Lou said, okay, Tay, good luck to you as well. I love you and take care. And then Tay said, you too, heart emoji. Also, call Tyler's mom. She has been calling my second phone looking for you. That's the other thing I was trying to communicate to you. Okay, bye. However, it was not her coming home to me every day, me giving her hell, and then forcing her to go gamble. No, that was not the case. She made gambling a part of her life. She would be gone from day to night. One time, I literally walked all the way to the nearest corner store so I can find a phone because you guys, at this time, we were arguing. I didn't have a phone because she had not come home all night, and I thought the girl would- What did it say? I guess she called claiming to give YouTube money, but if- she really thought I deserved it, and it wasn't a play. Like, I can barely see these. It's yes, just, it's so blurry. She would have... Something about she, Cash App or Apple Pay. She would have sent it. But she didn't and never... 
intended I sh- to. Okay, I shouldn't, and I got on glasses, y'all. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have to answer the phone to get what. It's kind of like, okay, if I'm going to give you this, you got to behave the way I want you to behave, or you got to do this for me or something. It was like a controlling type of thing. Not on the planet anymore, but I knew she was at that casino. Shit! Okay, hold up, y'all. Bear with me. Go check the casino, and she was there. I can find a phone because, you guys, at this time we were arguing. I didn't have a phone. All right, it says, I contacted you regarding the YouTube funds. I understand if it's no longer a priority to you, just making sure I covered my bases. Because she had not come home all night, and I thought the girl was not on the plane Okay, so it says, thank you for, uh, Tay, she said, thank you for trying, and I hope you feel I've tried. I'm sorry our personalities were unable to maintain a friendship together. I'm sad to continue my journey without you. But I hope you know, I think about you often and wish the best for you. Our last conversation had me feeling like you thought I wanted something from you other than making sure you were safe as you have done for me many times before. I truly did not know you were out of town. I would have never messaged you. My intentions are never to intrude on your new life. I wasn't trying to press you and that's kind of how you made me feel. With this YouTube money, I will finally be able to leave Delaware, but it's painful doing so, having talked to you one last time. You are a huge part of my life. Um, sorry. Um, I love to, I love to speak with you once more as I feel we both deserve some cushion of money after the long road we've traveled. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know how to reach you, but either way, I, knew she was at I that apologize kid. for how everything turned out. I love you, kid. Yeah, but it's like, I don't get this because she actually said in her live that she was staying in Delaware. Yeah, she just going to stay in Delaware. When was this message? At the end of the day, girl, just give me my money. Like if you go, it's kind of like Carla, when she had a situation with her ex-girlfriend and they got into a bad fight and they was trying to part ways. The girl took her damn garage remote. Yeah. Just and for a way to to have contact. And she took my tag receipt. Like all of my car stuff, she took it so that Like, bitch, just give me my money and leave me alone. <laughs> damn. Casino and I went to go check the casino and she was there. Stop dangling shit in my face. But I guess she said she gonna stay in Delaware now. She gonna be doing Tic Tacs with uh with, with the baby with, daddy. With the baby daddy, man. Damn. That's torturous. That's just <laughs> and, and it's really fucked up when it's like you feel like you're the only one going through it and nobody else can see the the, the minute manipulative things that that person is doing. They know what buttons to push. It'd be certain buttons that nobody else can tell is there, but because I've been with you for so long, I know what to do to trigger you. Mm-hmm. And it make you seem like you going crazy when you try to blast them, if you don't do it the right way. She started talking, yes, put that shit on two. <laughs> two. <laughs> Shout out to Baltimore. Put it on two. That she made toxic because she got into a relationship. Oh, this shit. video, I'm gonna let you guys watch it all the way through and then we will discuss it. But just to let you know, it's pretty much her being upset with me that I will not remain in the house. That she made toxic because she got into a relationship, relationships with her moderators, and she made it very uncomfortable for me to remain in the house. She's yelling at me and screaming at me to stay and to work there, and I'm telling her no, I'm not comfortable. I'm not living there. I'm still willing, willing to help you. Is However, I'm not comfortable video? staying there. She physically tries to stop me from getting into the back seat you guys remind you i am her abuser why would you stop your abuser from getting into the back seat you guys i know her i know what's going to happen if i don't get into that back seat she's going to physically aggress me try to take my phone so i got into the back seat um here we are no no the fuck y'all ain't i'm like that emoji that's like yikes <laughs> maybe, maybe is that what that video was that what you were saying when they were in the car is that what they were arguing about? This shit's so choppy, man. 
you know, she didn't get paid, so she probably get, didn't get taught how to um do YouTube. So she tried to figure and it, it out. And it sucks because you know I could could have really seen her just being able to make her channel. Like her first video, she got two hundred thousand views. That was before the drama happened. I really could have seen her just making her content, growing her channel, and having her own money. Yeah. You know, and I still can see her doing that. Yeah. It's like, I think real to recognize real. At the end of the day, y'all was in a toxic situation. Y'all not together. Move the fuck on and, and make y'all money. Y'all yeah. still got the clout. That's the thing. But she need to make her videos interesting because they're kind of like, you know, a little off. You know? Of when this conversation. Like, I'm laughing at all. Next, like before, I provided a screenshot so you guys can have a timestamp of when this conversation oh. happened. Um, I am the blue and Tay is the black. I want you guys to go ahead and fast forward through the text conversation and read it in a whole. And I got really, really scared. And obviously, because I love her, I stopped everything I needed to do to come and find her. I Ubered to her house. She wasn't there. Oh, so, and then I would we like for you to rewind it, it and hear oh, my man. voice over explaining certain parts if you need any explanation. After some time of us not contacting each other, she randomly contacted me and told me that she wanted to unalive herself and that she was about to turn in her dog. I got really, really scared. And obviously, because I love her, I stopped everything I needed to do to come and find her. I Ubered to her house. She wasn't there. Um, I looked for her. Then I finally went back to my house and I was still checking on her. Um, as you proceed to read, um, these are tactics she would do throughout our relationship. She would say something extreme just so I can contact her. During this time, I didn't contact her yet. So that's why you see kind of a little bit of niceness in the beginning for me. But after that, you can see her pretty much trying to manipulate me into doing a mukbang. And also you will see in the text thread that you will also see her say, I don't want to do the YouTube video anymore. She's she referring to the third video that she asked me to do. Also, the two videos that she asked me to do. And you guys will be seeing this in the Texas. This, I believe, was the... First of all, this is another timestamp keeping you guys on the time wave. And all of this is obviously recent of the last couple of months. But this, I believe, is the last time that she reached out to me. Um, as you see, the tone in that message doesn't sound like I abused her. Doesn't sound like she fear me. Doesn't sound like I've done anything bad to her other than not being able to work well with her because she know for a fact she was not getting beat. Um, please read it. That was her tone up until that message. At least that's what I remember. That being her last message. I have not heard from this woman. I have not seen this woman. And three months later, she pops out with her YouTube that she just posted the other day. So... We'll see where we go from here, y'all. Pause it. Evaluate it. If y'all got questions, let me know. I'm not sure how I'm going to answer the questions yet, if at all. So, I don't know. There y'all go. All right, y'all. So, that mm -hmm. was the end of that long-ass video. Um, this is going to be a long upload. Y'all can just treat it like a podcast. Um, your final thoughts, honey. Girl... <laughs> I don't know. I think exactly what we said. I was um, going to say the same thing. As I mentioned before, they was both fighting. And, um, you know, it's it's unfortunate. Sometimes when we're, um, like, in the midst, we can't see clearly. It's like we're caught up. We think we can save somebody. And that's just it, that's just not the fucking case. You know, I think they did a video, like I said, three years ago. And they were already saying that things wasn't good. And they should have cut ties way before that if they was fighting a month into the relationship. So, oof. Yeah. And then also, I just recommend, like, with Lou, you know, I know she's still trying to figure this shit out. But after you render the video, like, just look over it, watch it real quick, you know, see if there's any things like this, you know, if it's all jumbled all over the place or whatever. Yeah, but I definitely think originally, like, even though um, Tay felt like they didn't, even though she felt like I wanted to do another video, I really do feel like in that sit-down video that they got the message across. Yeah. I think she just feel like you don't look bad enough. 
And that's why we are getting this smear cam campaign. Um, we didn't have to have this. Well, I know we didn't, but for the, the people that was out nothing there. New. We already who, knew they was fighting. But the, it's some people out there, it took the video for them to be like, oh, that was wrong. It wasn't enough when they said Bloods and Crips. So it, it was like, we didn't need this. Y'all had already did the video. They we got it. We already knew y'all was fighting. Y'all said it multiple times. Yeah, I promise you, if Tay wanna let her ego get in the way, like, yeah, you may have not like how people, how some people reacted to the video or whatever, or what they maybe thought about you or whatever, but she could have legit just moved on, uploaded a mukbang, did like a story time, and we wouldn't even been thinking about this shit. Nobody. Yeah, and then too, YouTube is sensitive. It's just certain shit you can't, it's like you just can't say certain shit on here. And then Lou, just like how she had her video going, it's just like y'all could have just moved the fuck on and just did y'all videos and made y'all fucking money. Cause the Tay and Lou name, y'all got clout. Y'all could just move on, but. The ego. Yeah. Cause that the, but it's like, my thing is again, the fighting is wrong and all that shit, but don't try to manipulate me. Don't try to make me feel or think a certain way by just showing me this little piece of clip when you know good and well both of y'all was running around that bitch like some Tasmanian devils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> both of y'all was acting the fuck up. Yeah. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed this reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of motivation. Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never need it there, but don't be validation. Live it in your truth, only moment you feel it, that's why I'm drooling into your vibration.